everybody, it's Dean from the Rhode Island Computer Museum, and it's a quiet Monday morning. And as I always say, I never know what I'm going to find when I come in here, being after the weekend or whatever. Now, this is something that I found, this is probably going back a month or two, but I just haven't got to do a little a video on it. And that is this device, which you can't really see too well in frame. I'm going to move the camera over to it in a second, but it is a... It's a thing. So as I said, it's it's a thing. <laughs> so this right here, and you may have seen this before, but I find it kind of interesting and not everybody has seen these. This is a, if I'm gonna pronounce it right, a Gakin or Gakin World Eye. It's a display. It displays, I believe, either 720 or 1080p, but it displays it in a spherical format. It's kind of weird. So I'm just gonna shut it off. Look at the remote. The remote is also round. Cute. All right, so I want to turn it on. There it is. Okay. So there. World Eye. And these are import devices. Um, I meant to ask Dan where it came from, but sorry about the glare on it. It's really hard to stop glare on a round display. I tried. It, it, it's getting the overhead lights. It's okay. I meant to ask Dan where this came from. Uh, so we'll just pretend it's a mystery right now. <laughs> it's just weird. And yeah, it's just a display. And it displays either stuff off USB. Uh, there's a USB slot on the side. There's also an HDMI input on the side, so you can actually go over to HDMI. So I'm pretty sure this does display 1080p. Uh, everything in here is uh, in a foreign language. So it's kind of, you can figure out what you're going into, but I wouldn't, if you play with one of these, unless you can read, I wouldn't go in the settings too much. But if we hop into the USB and we go into photo or movie and get it, go to one and you hit okay, ask you what drive, let's go into user and it's got some free and sample. So I'm gonna guess we're going into, let's try sample, I guess, sample movies. And then, oh, that, that's a sample movie. Okay, see, it's hard to see, but there's a checkbox right there as I check it. So I don't want to erase, I just want to play it. So on the remote, I'm going to hit play. And it's going to load. And there we go. So on it built in, there's specially formatted movies to go on this display. If you put any video on here, I've seen videos on this before where if you just put a regular movie on here, it, it's going to stretch it around and you can have like weird you know artifacting or, or something so you want it to be sorry about the noise let's we can turn that down there we go. Um, so you can put videos on it but they have to be formatted for the device you know for it to, for it to work the right way now this is going to show i thought the fish was cool I guess we got fireworks coming up now. It's definitely a unique device. Um, I mean, as far as construction-wise, you can tell it's a little cheaper. It's just plastic. This is plastic. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing, if I had to guess, I mean, we don't have round displays per se. I mean, I guess we're getting there where like phones that fold and, and stuff like that, but it's probably some kind of small screen on the inside and it's projecting into the, 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 the inside of this device. I'll have to look that up, I am curious. But as far as the device goes, it almost looks like, I know when they say world eye, so I want to move the camera real gentle so I don't make anybody sick. But if I move the camera around the side, you can see right there, USB and HDMI. And it, it does look like an eyeball. I mean, pretty much. It almost reminds me of those older uh, JVC like space helmet TVs from the 70s or 80s. The old black and white ones. But this is definitely an interesting device. I'm going to raise the camera up just a little so you can kind of get a better view of it. There we go. Let me find one more sample video on here. Just to show you guys. This. I don't know if I played both. or I don't know if one was the fish, one was the... F yeah, okay, so one was the fish and one was the fireworks. So we'll go back to that. This was the fish one. We'll, we'll play that again. Actually, you know what? I think if we go back out, I think there's a video of, like, the globe. <laughs> so, yeah, so on this screen we have, I guess, in showing, you know, space, ocean life, something. So, let's go to space. Let me play on that. Maybe not. 
Oh, sorry. These are space movies. Look at that's pretty cool. It is narrating something in in a foreign language. It's neat though. And if we go back again and go to the Globe One and play a sample movie there, it's green. I'm assuming it's gonna. There we go. So again, we got the Globe. So not a whole lot to it. I mean, it's a neat device, but it does this. It displays things in a spherical format. So. I want to see what use we can make out of this. I know, judging by the fact that the Raspberry Pi stuff is right next to it, I, and the HDMI cord was plugged in, I'm thinking they were playing with HDMI out on the Raspberry Pi going to this. So that's interesting. I guess we can do some spherical or round computing. That's a new thing to do. But yeah, so that device is the, you know, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, the Gakin or Gakin World Eye round display. Very interesting. Alright guys, that's the video for today, just a quick one, we'll see you next time.